Hello everyone and welcome back to Milo Farms and welcome to the bathroom today. Today we'll be taking a look at this Kohler Cimarron toilet. Uh, this particular one is the uh, elongated bowl variety but that doesn't really matter for today. What we're going to be doing is taking a look at the tank area of the toilet and this particular one has a leak and we're having problems with the float keep turning on and refilling. So we have a leak through the flapper mechanism which you'd find on a regular toilet but on the Kohler Cimarron toilet, you have this instead of the flapper mechanism. So this right here, it goes down at the bottom of this cylindrical piece you can see right here. And instead of having the regular flapper like you'd see when you flush the toilet on this one, it lifts that whole cylinder up and flushes the toilet and then it refills. But down at the bottom of that cylinder, this right here is the seal. So I picked this one up at Lowe's and we're going to go ahead and show how to replace it. The reason that we've had to replace this seal, even though this toilet isn't that old, is we always like to use these bleach uh, tabs in the toilet. They go in the tank and they help keep it cleaner and sanitary. Um, they can also help extend the time that you would go between cleanings, but obviously we still clean it on a regular basis, but these help extend the time and any sort of mold or anything like that that could grow. But the downside of these is they also eat up the guts in the back of the toilet, which is why we have to replace this seal more often than regular. Not a big deal. I think it's well worth it. This thing's about $6 to replace this. Real simple replacement. So we'll go ahead and take a look. All right, so first thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to turn off the supply valve down here at the bottom to the toilet. Go ahead and flush it. Hold the handle until the uh, tank drains as best as possible. You set this back down. And then what you're going to want to do is pull off this rubber hose. Sometimes it'll come off on the other end as well, but just stick it right back on there. Or actually, let's just take the whole thing off, just get it out of the way. Then you have this yellow piece right here. You twist that to the left, counterclockwise. Pull that off. And then this entire piston, you can lift it up. You can disconnect the chain if you like, or you can just tip it around like this. You can see that rubber right there is just shot. It's all sorts of rotten. So we're gonna have to fight this thing off of here, which just looks like it's rotten and just gonna come off in pieces. So we got the thing off. It obviously broke into pieces. It's just old and rotten. So we'll go ahead and get out our new one here. I just picked this one up at Lowe's. They had the uh, knockoff variety or aftermarket variety and the difference was like 50 cents to get the original equipment one or the aftermarket one. Went ahead and got this one. You can see how flexible this guy is, how not flexible this guy is. So right here at the bottom, just got this ring. Slip this right around here. See, it goes right in the ring. Set this guy back down. Get it centered. Just turn this thing clockwise. It'll click right in. Then go ahead and put your uh, line right back on here. This line is what helps fill the bowl with water to keep the trap primed um, after you flushed. So we'll go ahead and turn it back on. While we're waiting for this thing to fill up, you can see on the side here, you've got the water line as to where the elevation is supposed to be set. So when it fills up, you can check this adjustment right here, make sure your tank is filling to the appropriate level. And it looks like we are twisted just a little bit on this cylinder. So as soon as we flush it the first time, the cylinder will drop into place and be facing the right direction and we should be good to go. There we go. Looks like it's working perfect. So it looks like we'll be pooping with success here at Milo Farms. So hope everybody enjoyed the video. Remember, you can't finish a project without getting started.